By popular demand, you guys asked for a sprayer video, so let's do it. This is a 40 gallon LG 40 3.12 volt bolted sprayer from Tractor Supply. Sprayer video, let's go. This is as real of a review as you're gonna get. Some people buy these things, they unbox them, give you their initial impression, but this has actually been field tested for three years. So you're gonna get a real review out of this one. And I have overall been very pleased with the unit. And I'll tell you why. In the world of sprayers, there's a big price difference when you go from the electric pump to the hydraulic PTO driven pump, like a big difference in price. This guy right here, brand new off the shelf, was about 350 bucks compared to about $1,000 for the PTO driven pump system. And you do get a different performance level, but if you're a hobby farmer like us, spraying a maximum of about three acres a year, then it works pretty well and you've saved a lot of money doing it. Let's jump back to the initial purchasing of this. Friend of mine, Josh Johnson, good friend, he had bought one of these sprayers and said, hey man, buyer beware, that thing cracked on me after one use. Well, here's why. They tell you to run these bolts into those little nipples right there. Those are indentions up into the tank. There's four of them that bolt this tank to the frame. They bolt up through that hole right there. And it's one way that the three point hitch secures to the tank. Well, that's unnecessary because it also comes with these straps right here. And those straps are extremely tight when you put them on and it holds that tank very tight. Well, come to find out, by putting these bolts into the bottom of the tank, when this tank bounces all around, it actually caused that plastic housing inside the tank to crack and gave him a really bad leaking problem. Based on his experience, I decided not to put the bolts in there. And on top of that, I actually sprayed it with some really good silicone adhesive to help keep that nipple from breaking. After three years, I've had zero leak issues by leaving those bolts out of this tank and just allowing these metal bands to secure it. Second thing about from the factory is the pump system. This is an upgraded pump. This is a 4.5 gallon high flow pump. This pump did not come on here. I do think they run a little bit higher flow pumps now, but when I purchased this one, it was only a 2.1 gallon gold series pump, and it took absolutely forever to pump out 30 gallons into a field. So by adding this $110 4.5 gallon pump, I doubled my output and sped up my production time significantly. One thing that has broke along the way was this manifold. I actually got a crack right here that caused the return to not have a good tight here, the circulator, and it started leaking really bad here, and it was actually in the housing and not the fitting. So I did have to replace the manifold. I've got a great video of that process on the channel if you wanna go check that out. That's just a plastic issue. Anything plastic, if it gets in the sunlight, it's gonna have a propensity for breaking. With this manifold, you have the option to either run the boom sprayer or the spray gun independently. It's really tough to do both of them because you end up losing pressure when you start spraying the gun. Your boom loses pressure, but it is nice to be able to cut off the boom entirely and put all the pressure to the gun, or you turn on all the pressure to the sprayer, and by not squeezing the trigger, all your boom gets all the pressure. These sprayers are great in that they provide you two options. You either have the gun here with about a 15 foot hose, or you can do the boom sprayer, which is a 10 foot wide spray width. Well, by upgrading the motor and doubling the amount of pressure, I was able to take that 10 foot width and add a piece of aluminum angle iron and added another nozzle on the end of it. So now I get over a 12 foot spray width when I'm passing through the field. And with that upgraded pump, I have no problems with pressure and I can really speed up how fast I spray these fields out. All these fittings can be found at Tractor Supply Company. This is just a 90 degree fitting. You get you a nozzle on the end of it, hose clamps, a little bit of pipe here. This is a little piece of aluminum L bracket. You can actually grab that at Lowe's. Really easy to take this guy and upgrade it from a 10 foot spray width to a 12 foot spray width. But if you don't upgrade your motor, I don't recommend doing that. You do need that extra volume to help support those two extra nozzles. By adding these extra nozzles on the end, I end up with six spray tips. From the factory, it actually only comes with four of them. And I've noticed over the years spraying, there is a little bit of a dead zone right here in the center where these two factory ones are a little bit wide spaced apart. And I think there's a dead zone that gets created right here. 
But if I wanted to, I could come in here and easily add another head right here off of this T-fitting, and I could probably clean up that spray with not to miss any areas. One other issue I've had, and it's related to the age of it, is the recircular hose here cracked, and I had to replace it. It split right here where it meets the barb fitting, so I had to replace that hose, but that also came with the manifold kit, so I already had that piece ready to swap out. So as far as having to replace broken items, the only thing I've had to replace was the one manifold kit after three years of spraying about three to four acres minimum every year. Even though I've upgraded the pump here, I will say it still takes a while to put out product. The Prowl Pendimethylum wants a lot of water volume to soak it into the dirt. This is just not really the tank for that. You could put flood nozzles on here, but you're really gonna be limited by the ability of this pump to put out but so much water. When you're looking to flood the ground, you really need to start stepping up to a hydraulic PTO driven pump. But again, that's gonna cost you a lot more money. To operate this pump, it came with a switch and it had a 12 volt plug on it that you could plug in a 12 volt socket. But we're actually finding that it would heat up so much, it was actually burning up the plug. So for my personal tractor, I've actually hard lined that wire straight to the battery. I've got a fuse in line, but I got rid of that 12 volt plug and I've not had any issues running this on off switch. So there you go, that's our setup. Everything is relative. We're running a pretty small farm out here. We've only got about three to four acres actually under tillage. So this 40 gallon electric sprayer does the job, but I'd say we're pretty much maxed out on its capabilities. If you went to five, six, certainly up to eight, nine, 10 acres, you would not want this electric sprayer. It's gonna take forever to spray those. Highly recommend you upgrade to the hydraulic PTO driven pump. But that's our rig. We've got her upgraded with a bigger pump. We've got the arms spread out to get a wider 12 foot pass. It's worked great for three years now. Again, I recommend not putting the bolts in through the bottom that actually secure into the tank. That could cause a cracking issue. Just use the metal bands. They are plenty sufficient. Upgrade your pump, get a higher output, and you should be good to go. Drop a comment below. Let me know if you have any more specific questions that I might not have covered. I really appreciate you guys watching. This is the fun stuff. Just letting you know what I'm operating with, what works, what doesn't work. But God bless. Take care.